a happy Saturday and happy walk day. My name is Alexis Johnson. I'm the social media manager here at RSCSA. And I'm joined by Jim Broach, Executive Vice President and Director of RCSA, and Kelly Considine, who was not only the chair of RCSA's fourth annual virtual CRPS Awareness Walk, but is also the leader of her team, Kelly's Crusaders. We are so happy to have everyone here with us today. We know that many of you are participating at home, in your neighborhood, in your greater community. And for that, we thank you. Uh, thanks to your support, we have surpassed this year's goal of $35,000 for our virtual walk. We are currently at $45,000 and growing, which is absolutely amazing. So we definitely just cannot thank you all enough. So like I mentioned, we are going to kick off with Kelly and Jim, who are live in Connecticut with Kelly's Crusaders. The floor is yours. I know your entire team is there. I think Gunner is there. So we want to see the squad. All right, well, we're gonna start with the most important member first. So here we go. Gunner, come on, buddy. Get your leash. He's got the leash. Did you walk for Kelly's Crusaders? <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> hey, got Gunner. his form on and everything. <laughs> Gunner, it looks great. Hi, everybody. Good, good, Thanks. To, good to be with you. Kelly has done an unbelievable job this year and we're really incredibly grateful. We had a team of how many here in Connecticut? I'd say close to 60, 55 to 60 people here. And we braved, it's, it's a blistering 60 degrees here in Connecticut today, but we walked about three miles. It was, it was fabulous. And Kelly led us with Gunner and yeah. Wonderful. Here he is again. Ready to go again. Uh -huh. Oh, he is ready. Walking. But yeah, That's no, I had a great support system here. It was great to have everyone come together. I was so thankful of everyone taking time out of their Saturdays to support a cause that's been so meaningful to me. Um, and I can't thank everyone enough for all the donations to reach $45,000. I was ecstatic when I saw that this morning. And it just goes to show you what everyone rallying together can do and how much, what a great effect we can have. Definitely. It's amazing to see what we can do when we all come together, especially um, supporting a cause such as CRPS awareness. And I'm just so happy that this community was able to come together. And I, I think we're still getting donations. So we'll definitely see um, you know, what the number is at the end of the live stream and at the end of the weekend. And I, I know we're going to probably keep it open for a little while as well. So really exciting. Um, we also have someone over here in the chat who just said, talking about Gunner said, precious, mine would be running in the wrong direction. That's awesome to walk <laughs> three miles. <laughs> Gunner doesn't like to leave me out of his sights too far, for too long, so. There you go, there you go. All righty, so we're going to keep today's live stream going. Um, next, we are going to actually hop on over and chat with Sharon, Carolyn, and the young adults in Philadelphia. So many of you know that we have our young adult weekend retreat that's happening right now in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and we have some of the young adults who are participating who are going to join our stream right now. So they're in the waiting room, and I'm going to go ahead and let them in. Let's see what they are up to. I know they've had a great weekend in Philly. Let's check them out. Hello to the young adults. Hi, can you see them? I can't see you yet. Let me get you to turn your camera on. Oh. We can hear you though. <laughs> All right. Hold on a second. Here you are. Hello. Hey guys. Okay. Hold. <laughs> There's the adults. Yay! Can we turn the camera because y'all are sideways right now? There we go. Okay. <laughs> Hi everyone. How was Philly? <laughs> all right. Yeah, we definitely want to hear a little bit about what you all have done this weekend, and you know, just checking in so we can hopefully get some more young adults to join our future young adult weekend retreats. We definitely need more people to join us. We're having a great time together. And hey, we, we went to Cheesecake Factory, kind of got to know one another. And today we did we did a little bit of talking about advocating for one another, for ourselves, 
and we did we did some art therapy with Tara here. She's been lovely. Yes. Yeah. We did yes. um what is the art called? Consume. Consume. So we broke bowls and then we kind of got to paint them and put them back together with the with gold, you know, glue. And mm -hmm. um so we have like a little this table I can walk over. Oh, yeah. Table of art. So this is the table of art. Okay. But they did. <laughs> <laughs> better than anything I can do so I'm impressed <laughs> that is so awesome I'm just so happy that you all had this weekend to come together and I know the weekend is not over yet you all have a little bit more time in feeling you are I guess getting ready to go out and explore the city too right yes that's awesome and so just for everyone who doesn't know our um Young Adult Weekend Retreat is for young adults with CRPS between the ages I think we did 21 to 33 if I'm yeah. If I'm correct. Yeah. And it was just the weekend for them to come together to meet one another. And, you know, from the previous reviews that I saw that, you know, Carolyn and Sharon were able to um, put together and send my way, you know, it was just a great opportunity for people to come together and then now have connections all across the country. And for you all to really connect and really discuss what it's like having CRPS at this age. So I'm just so happy that you all were able to come and we'll have to start talking about the next retreat and start promoting that one ASAP. Yeah. All right. We've already started. We started talking. <laughs> oh, love it. I love to hear it. So any uh, parting words that you all want to um, share with us before we hop over to our next team? Make sure to come join us for the next one. Oh, yes, definitely. Strength and connection. Yeah, strength and connection. Love it. Love it. All right. We're off. All right. Y'all have right, a good bye. one. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Well, that was so awesome. Cannot wait to see everything that comes out of the Young Adult Weekend Retreat. I believe they're supposed to be making some TikToks for us as well. So, and we'll talk about TikTok a little later. <laughs> but now, like I said, we are going to hop you know, across the country and talk to all of our different teams. So we started in Connecticut, we went over to Philly, and now we're going to go down and we're going to talk with Samantha R. Her team is Grit Don't Quit. They are down in New Jersey. Now, before I bring Samantha on, I just want to say that Samantha is absolutely amazing. She is a student who helps the RCSA team with numerous tasks. I know that many of you, of course, have read our in rare form digital newsletters, and she actually is the student who puts together our word searches, our crossword puzzles, the activities that you see in in rare form. She's just amazing. And her team has raised the most out of every other team for this year's walk. So we are just so thankful for Samantha and I'm gonna go ahead and bring her on now. And she also has a sharing section in the Facebook live chat. So hello, Samantha, hi. They're connecting to audio. I love the hats, hello. Uh-oh, I don't think we can hear you all. Hi, can you hear me Here now? There we go, we can hear you now. Hi, Samantha. Hi, how are you? Doing well, how are you? Good, thanks. I'm so happy to be here and to be able to um, be able to raise funds and all the awareness that I've been able to, and I'm truly just feel so grateful for all of the support. Definitely, definitely. Thank you for everything. Before you came on, we were just singing your praises and talking about everything that you do for RCSA. We love all the uh, crossword puzzles and designs and things that you do for in rare form. So we're just so thankful for that. And you all are the highest raising team. Grit Don't Quit has raised the most for this year's virtual walk. So that's yeah. a yeah. round of applause. Um, so definitely want you to introduce who you have here. I guess these are two members of your team. Yeah, so um, these are my parents, my mom and my dad. My mom, I don't have CRPS, but my mom does. She's had it for the past 10 years. Um, so I've just been working, doing everything that I can to try to find a cure, to try to raise awareness, to try to, um, you know, make things better for people like my mom who suffer from this awful disease. Definitely, and we appreciate it. And mom, how long have you had CRPS? 10 years. Years. Fighting every day to make life better for myself and for my husband and for my daughter. And every day uh, I get up and uh, I fight to, to make the day better. And uh, I believe that uh, I am making a lot of progress and that uh, we together as a team 
will will defeat this the disease and spread awareness and find better treatments for everybody, more understanding and a cure. Definitely. And that's what we are fighting for. Um, Jim and Kelly, I don't know if you have any words um, of support or anything you want to share with Team Grit Don't Quit. Well, first of all, Samantha, I want to congratulate you on all your hard work. And Thank you. And supporting your mom. Yeah. Thank you. So proud of you as your dad um, and your efforts. So that's just amazing. And um, I'll be going on 18 years since September that I've been holding CRPS. And um, I just like every day is a battle. I got to see Monday at a time for good, for bad. And, Oh, I think we lost you there at the end, Kelly. I don't know if the, I know it's kind of windy in Connecticut. <laughs> okay, there we go. We got you back. Can you hear me now? Okay, we can hear you. Yeah. Awesome. Um, Mary was saying that hopefully that with the continued events like these and coming together, that we're going to get closer to a treatment or a cure. Um, I truly believe that's going to happen. Yeah. Jim, can you come a little closer to the phone? You're kind of a little far. Oh no, We're kind of going in and out a little bit. Like I said, I know it's a little windy in Connecticut today, so I'm not sure, but we will. I know Jim's words of encouragement are amazing. He always has um, the best feedback. So. Um, Thank you, Jim. We will come back to you in a little bit. <laughs> but I also, before we let you go, Samantha and the team, you definitely have some fans over here on Facebook. Um, Matt Frank wanted to definitely make sure that he let everyone know that he's watching and supporting Grit Don't Quit. So I definitely want to make sure. That <laughs> Thank, you. You. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Matt. Yes. Thanks definitely. to everyone. We're very proud yeah. of Samantha. Keep fighting. Yeah. This is awesome. Well, thank you all so much. And of course, send us photos and videos um, from today so we can put them in the next in rare form. But you all have a good one. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye, Bye. Bye. Have a good one. Be well. All right. So. Can we go to Australia? <laughs> I don't know if we have anyone from Australia that's going to be on. I know we did receive a photo over on Instagram from a warrior overseas. So I have to double check and see exactly where she is. Um, so I know we're waiting for our next guest to join us. But before we wait for, or before our next guest comes on, I did want to say that we have 40 teams and 100 individual donors who have participated in this year's walk, which is absolutely amazing. And the team names, y'all are like super creative. Of course, I mentioned, you know, Grit Don't Quit is one of the names. And of course, we have, um, you know, Kelly's Crusaders. And let me pull up and see a few other team names that we have here. Um, we have Journeying with Jeeves, who we should talk to in a little bit. Let me see who else. We have Erica's Lucky Finn, Keep on Rolling, Chuck Psalm 34-8 Walk, Newtown Vet Rovers. Y'all are super creative with some of these names and I'm, I'm really loving it. So um, Heather's Homies, that was another one I wanted to make sure that I shouted out. So um, we're just so thankful for all the teams and everyone who's come together to you know, support this cause and support today's walk. So, all right. So next, um, we are going to hop over and we're going to chat with Diana J of Journeying with Jeeves, and she is in Virginia. So I'm going to go ahead and let Diana into the room. All right. Hello, Diana. We can't see or hear you yet, but I know you are here with us. Okay, we can hear you now. Let me see if I can get you. Hello? Hello, Diana. We can't see you quite yet, but we can hear you. Oh, okay. Oh, we gotta allow there access. There you are. Oh, oh, oh yeah. you have a squad. I'm gonna turn this sideways so you can hopefully see. Or keep, yeah, there we go. Perfect. Hello, everyone. What a team. Yeah, what a team. <laughs> So let's see, we can kind of pan around, say hello to the people. Hello, 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 everyone. What a squad. So we are team journeying with Jeeves. I've named my wheelchair Jeeves. Um, 
<laughs> we did. We just got done doing a, about a two and a half mile walk through Huntley Meadows in Alexandria, Virginia. And um, yeah, so super excited to be a part of this event. Um, thank you for everyone who made this happen. I uh, love RSDSA. Um, and these are my, my tribe. These are the people who, um, yeah, just supported me. I have an amazing support system. Um, super grateful for all these people. And the reason that I walk is because I have hope for a cure and Hopefully all of the warriors out there can also have hope. Um, it can be tough, but we're in this together and um, making progress every day and love this community and just grateful to be a part of it. So, awesome. Yeah. I just love seeing that you do have this tribe, you have this squad, a support system. Um, it's just amazing to see how many people were able to come out and walk two and a half miles with you today. So super awesome. Yeah. Well, thanks for having us. Of and course. Thanks for hosting. Of and course. Thank you for joining us. And of course, you know, let us know if there's anything else that our CSA can support you with. Please do. Absolutely. Thanks, everyone. Bye. 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 Thanks, guys. All righty. Super awesome. So now. We're going to hop over and talk with Jennifer G. She's with Jenny G's Launchpad, and they are based in Michigan. So let me go ahead and let Jennifer in. This is so fun. I love talking to so many different people all throughout. All right. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, how are you? Doing well. We can hear you. We can't see you quite yet. Let me get you to turn your camera on. Ask. Okay, how about now? Oops, hold on. There's some saying something. Yes, okay. How about now? There you are. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hey, thank you for inviting me to speak today. Um, I am just really thankful that we're doing this and um, I look so looking forward to talking with you all. So thanks for having me. Yes. So tell us a little bit about your team and, um, you know, how you got the name and, you know, a little bit about your CRPS journey. Okay. Well, I will start with my journey. Uh, first of all, I've had it, I was diagnosed in 2016 and uh, it was the best and worst day of my life. <laughs> um, so, you know, when you become a doctor of Google and look up this disease, it can be pretty daunting, but I uh, took that and kind of uh, spun my life around. So it got me out of a bad work situation. It got me out of a bad marriage situation and it got me on the right path to where I am today. So um, it opened doors for me that I would have never anticipated and accepted in the past, but because I can now appreciate what uh, people with CRPS have, it's really opened up the doors for me. Now, uh, backstory, I'm a musician. I play piano and French horn. I'm a retired band and orchestra director. And I had to retire from teaching because of my CRPS because it was off the charts, of course. Mm -hmm. um, but because of that um, ability to look at yourself and see what you can do to improve your life, I got back into music a lot more. So I was able to play the piano again. I was able to play my French horn because my CRPS is located in my left one leg. So I'm still able to use my hands and, and that sort of thing. But uh, it's opened a lot of doors. So I now am a, a pianist at the Henry Ford Cancer Institute in Detroit, Michigan. And um, I'm just really excited to be here. So I want to give a shout out to all the people who made this walk happen. First of all, to your team there at the, sorry, I got a bug, uh, at the home office there. We so appreciate you bringing awareness to this incredibly important disease that no one really knows about, no one's really heard of, but it's so important to spread the word. And I just want to give a shout out to my own team that walked this morning. We walked at 10 o'clock and here in Southeast Michigan, it's 90 degrees, which is great, but it's a little, a little toasty. Um, but I really thank my team because they've been with me on the journey, uh, longtime friends. I had musicians, church friends, uh, friends who walked vi virtually. My sister lives in Traverse City, Michigan, and she took her dog and walked this morning and showed the importance of hydration. Very important for all of you walkers. Um, but it's just been a really great honor to have people supporting me and to be able to share about this journey. Uh, the other thing I want to tell you about is when you have a disease like this, you have to educate. 
And I had to educate my own doctors about it, which was pretty impressive because, you know, you think doctors, they should have a clue, right? They don't. A lot of them do not. I've been very lucky that my primary care uh, wanted to know more, asked about it, researched it. And now he tells other people and looks for it. And if he's talking to someone, say, in the hospital or whatever, other medical professionals, he can stay with confidence. This is what this might look like. And so because of him, he's uh, spreading the word. And I'm going to shout out him as well. Rolando Estepigan out of Troy, Michigan, Royal Oak Beaumont Hospital. You go. Um, so anyway, I, I've been really lucky and fortunate that I've been able to educate people about this disease and really fortunate that it happened to me. And I know that sometimes it doesn't feel like it's the best, um, option, but you know, it really gives you perspective and it gives your whole life a twist that for me, it got me out of some really negative things. And so I've been really blessed by this disease, which I'm sure doesn't happen often, or you don't think of it that way, but you know, I've been, my goal now is to educate and to advocate for people that have it because as you know, it's so hard to diagnose and so hard to really wrap your mind around it because it's so random. But I want to again, thank you for the team. I'm so excited to be here and shout out for Michigan. Woohoo! Uh, Woo! So thank you so much and uh, have a great day. Enjoy the walk and hopefully it's slightly cooler where you are, but that doesn't matter. We're all here for a great cause and we so appreciate you. So thank you so much for having me today. Thank you for everything, Jennifer. Jennifer thank awesome. you. Thank you, Jennifer. <laughs> thank you for optimism. It's amazing. Oh, man. Yeah, it's been great. So, uh, you know, like I said, the first week, not so great, <laughs> but it just flipped the switch for me and has really been a fantastic journey. I mean, I would not, not normally say that about something like this, but it really has been the best thing that ever happened to me. So yeah. hopefully you will find that joy in your life like I have. And uh, I'm going to shout out to Music Heals. I'm just saying whatever you can do with music, me being a musician, I got to say that. But but anyway, it's so great to see you out there and uh, wherever you are from uh, walking and all over the country. So enjoy. Have a great day and keep fighting. You're in it to win it much thank keep you. up that education and advocacy we love it all right thank you have a great day you too thank you wow so positive she's amazing definitely need to chat with her we may have to have her on a facebook live gym so we can talk about some music and crps so all right so now we're going to keep on heading out west so next we're going to talk with cassie c with Just Keep Swimming, and her team is in California. So let's go ahead and get Cassie on. Yes, right. All righty. Hello, Cassie, you're up. Hello. Cassie. So great to see you. And we've got, oh yeah, we've got my good friend Leslie here, who's here. We've got the dogs here walking for CRPS. Come here, Peter. Bandana. 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 Awesome. So great to see you all. Thank you so much for everything. We've got our signs outside. The yeah, we've got a good CRPS moment. The uh, mowers are going off like crazy over here. So of course, is <laughs> having a, having a moment. But uh, I love you guys all so much. Thank you so much for for all the support and the donations. We've raised over two thousand dollars this year, which is amazing. And I've got so much support uh, from everybody, and it's just so wonderful to to overwhelming the support and uh, system. And I think it's one of the most critical things in CRPS is that we have support. And this is just an absolutely beautiful uh, thing that just this year we are just, everybody is surpassing their goals. I mean, you guys, I saw, I was like watching the thermometer go up. Well, up, up, up. And it just, it's, yeah, <laughs> now we're so exciting. <laughs> We were pumping oh, it. Up. <laughs> Hi, Kelly. Hello. Hi, Jim. Hello. Oh, it's so great to see everybody. How are you guys doing? We're freezing. Yes. 
<laughs> no, it's 60 and cold here. Oh, no. It's a little chilly. Oh, so oh, that's terrible. terrible. And, and we also but you're doing it anyway, right? Just keep swimming. And we also, yes. it. Love I it. love it. You guys have been have having a, a, <laughs> a lot of people. Sorry, my headphones are the worst. I'm so sorry. No, I was just saying we celebrated Kelly's upcoming birthday. Yes. Yay! Happy birthday, Kelly! Woohoo! The big 35 on the 8th. Oh my yeah. goodness, that's so exciting. Oh, happy birthday, sweetie. It's wonderful. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yay. Oh, this is just so great. And are, are, do we have a lot of teams out there today? 40 teams. Yeah. yeah. Right. That's yeah, a big that's gift for me. Yeah. I love seeing that all of you coming together as a chair of the walk. That's a huge birthday yeah. gift. Oh, it's, it, this is amazing. Like this is Christine's and my first time meeting in person. We were, we were put together by Jerry actually two years ago during the walk. She yes. said, you guys need to meet each other. Yes. So we've been supporting each other Thank ever since. Too. And we appreciate you guys. This is such a hard condition, but you guys, I can't imagine doing it without you. I am so grateful for exactly. all that you do and for the people you've brought into our lives. And, and happy yes. birthday, Kelly, a fabulous birthday. And also congratulations on all the um, teams for the walk this yeah, year. That's very encouraging. This is amazing for sure. And we have 85 degrees out here, so. <laughs> Just had to rub it in a little bit. No, <laughs> I'm glad you guys could connect. And I was actually able to connect with two new warriors today, which was amazing. So it oh, is awesome. nice to find some people that are going through the same thing you are. So I'm glad yeah, well, we've got, uh, we've already got Germany videos coming in. My sister Santina did one and our fellow CRPS warrior Karina did one. Shout out to Baloo and Luna as well. Her kitties, they did a video for us. Oh, and uh, we've got uh, Shannon on the team as well. She's a CRPS warrior and a, a, a beautiful book author. She's a healer. We've got so many people on the team mixed of warriors and supporters. And it's just, it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. And I would like to shout out to the team leader. And I'm sure this is no surprise to any of you because Cassie is truly an inspiration. I mean, she has a pretty tough case of this and yet um, she has just the most positive, uh, wonderful attitude. And I, it's infectious and I'm grateful for it. And so she's quite the gem, <laughs> truly. She truly. is a gem. She definitely is. She is oh. off you well, thank you all so much. Um, Cassie, it's always great seeing you. I always appreciate whenever you send us emails and send us notes and you're just a, a joy. So I'm just so happy that we were Oh, you guys are the best. And I love you all so much. And get in here, Leslie, so that we can get Leslie in here. She's got one of my shirts on. Oh, I love it. And uh, uh, and she's been a gem of mine for seven years of this. She's been with me from almost day one, from October of 2016, and she's one of my PAs. Awesome. That's how I met her. This yeah. amazing, amazing woman, and we're like best friends. <laughs> oh, that's so special. So glad yeah. you could be with her today and every day. Yeah, yeah of course. it's awesome. And uh, we really appreciate the support and warriors just keep swimming. It's the most important thing you can do. Just keep swimming, try to do the best you can each day. Failure is not something that, you know, we do right every single day you do something that's that's a victory. And it's it's a beautiful thing. And you just got to keep going, try to keep the best attitude that you can. And when you can't call us, we'll help you right we'll help you we'll help you along the way and please feel free to send our information out to everybody we welcome everyone warriors supporters members whoever we're so grateful for the opportunity to spread awareness and the more awareness we have the better off we'll all be in the future so really this is amazing you no guys are amazing we love you all alexis jim kelly we love you happy birthday Thank you. Love you, Kathy. Thank you, guys. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye. I love Cassie. She is such a joy. All right. So now we're going to hop on down to another part of California and chat with Danielle W. 
Her team is burning love for Danielle. So let's go ahead and let her in. All right. Hello, Danielle. You are on. All right, let me get you to get your um, camera on real quick. Oh, wow. Look at this squad. Hello. Honey, California. No. I like Hi. the orange shades. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, we're here in uh, sunny Southern California. Happy <laughs> to rub that in. <laughs> I'm Danielle. I'm a, a CRPS warrior for 12 years. This is my husband, Justin. Hi, Our Justin. girls, Coco and Vinny. Mm -hmm. And we are Team Burning Love. Oh, now the heart glasses make, okay, I just, I put it together now. Got it. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. And how many team members do you have with you today? Um, we have about 20 here right now. Wow. We have other members who are in different states too. Wow, that is amazing. Like I said, it's just, it's great to see warriors with this large support system. And, you know, we've been hopping around across the country today on this live stream. And, you know, we're ending with you and Sunny, I'm gonna keep saying it, Sunny, Southern California. And just to see everyone with their support systems and their teams, this is, this is amazing. I'm so glad that everyone was able to come out and support you today, Danielle. Thank you. Yes, I am so very blessed. Mm -hmm. Um, very, very grateful for all of our family and friends. Yeah. Anything else you want to share with us about your team or your CRPS journey? Um, no, this is our first year. Um, so we're really excited and we're already looking forward to next year starting our planning. Wow. <laughs> um, we just want to thank you guys for including us and thank you for all of your hard work um, in putting this awesome event together. So we are so grateful yes and we're happy that you were able to join us and i mean i feel like as soon as we hang up and i get on the phone with someone else from our team we're going to start talking about next year's walk so we'll keep you posted great well we'll, we'll see you there <laughs> all right y'all have a good one we're so happy to have you this year happy to have Bye -bye. you <laughs> Wow, so amazing, all of these teams that we've had all to join us today. I mean, there's so many more teams, like I mentioned, who um, have supported us throughout um, you know, this fundraising period. So I definitely wanted to shout out, like I said, we have 40 teams and 100 individual donors. So super amazing. Before we wrap up, I definitely wanna make sure that I give a shout out to our sponsors. Of course, our RCSA sponsors, we have Abbott, the Baker Family Foundation, Michael and Lynn Coatney, the Cochran Firm, which is a national CRPS RSD lawyer firm, Diane and Peter Smith in memory of Stephanie Teresa Smith, TJ Willen Foundation, and Dr. and Mrs. Lawrence and Judy Zager in loving memory of Hunter Leah Zager. And then of course, our Walks Bronze sponsors include Stratford Engineers and Power Cooling. And then our Walks Orange sponsors include Jimmy Store, Inspired Living with Amberly Lago, LLC. We love Amberly. Total Fire Protections and Ashland Maintenance. So I just want to thank everyone for supporting us with this virtual walk and supporting us all throughout the year. Now, um, I believe what we have visited with all the teams that are going to join us um, this afternoon, but anything that you all want to leave us with, Jim and Kelly? I am just so overwhelmed with gratitude and inspiration that so many wonderful warriors and their support systems helped us this year as they've done in the past. And it, it's been fabulous. And being with Kelly and her support system of, of almost 70 people, it was just a, a day to remember. It just was great, even though it's freezing in Connecticut. <laughs> it is freezing, but no, we had a great day and I'm so thankful for everyone, my family, my friends, Jim, RSDSA, Alexis, you are putting these together, bringing the, everyone across the United States together. Um, it's just been an amazing experience um, per usual. And I love to hear the numbers growing every year and to see every time I signed on and saw how much we raised and how much it went up, it was just 
it felt so good. All the hard work, you know, was worth it. And um, just thank you to everyone, you know, and I think that everyone had a great message. You know, you just have to take one day at a time, keep fighting, keep educating, keep advocating. And that's going to be the best thing for all of us. Keep swimming. There you go. So once again, I want to thank everyone who helped make this event possible, especially Kelly for being our chair. Of course, Kelly is a RSDSA board member as well. Wanted to make sure I mention that. And I also want to give a huge shout out, of course, to Jerry Krasner, who is our special events coordinator. She helps to make all of our events possible. And we thank you and we appreciate you, Jerry, because we have so many events that happen throughout the year and Jerry is behind all of them. So thank you so much, Jerry. And just a reminder that if you are out walking today, tomorrow, next week, or anytime in the future, please take photos and tag them on um, or tag us in them on social media so that we can see what you're up to and that we can share them with the community. Photos and videos. I want to see them on Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Instagram. I want to see them everywhere. So definitely be sure to share them. So we're going to wrap up. But as always, you know, I have to have my my um, typical outro, you know, if you ever have any questions for us or anything that you need from our team, if you need a support group, if you need a physician, or if you want to tell your story on our blog, please send us an email at info at rcs.org. We have a community. We're here to support you. You saw all the people who joined us here today. Um, we're here for you. So just let us know what you need. So everyone have a great rest of the weekend. Thank you, Jim. Thank you, Kelly. Thanks, Alexis. Alrighty, have a good one, y'all. Bye. Bye.